surprise. One, two, three. Wait. Many people today, even you, may be hesitating on whether or not to change your phone to a smartphone. If such is the case, you have clicked on the perfect video. We'll be digging into the truth behind these devices, look through the pros and cons. And by the end of this clip, you'll be sure to know which phone is the right one for you. Before we go on, let's see how well you know about smartphones. So, what is a smartphone? Smartphone? Isn't that a phone from Samsung? Same as iPhone. Something that can do everything and anything you want it to. Smartphone! Uh... <laughs> is... Intelligent. I don't know! Uh, it's a phone that you do not need. At least more than me. What is it? iPhone. What? iPhone. It's a phone that's trying to take over the world. <laughs> so, it seems that nobody really has a clue what a smartphone exactly is. Well, it's not a phone that wants to take over the world. Neither is it just a Samsung phone or just an Apple phone. So, what exactly is a smartphone? Right now, I'm out on the streets to find out what a smartphone really is. So follow me. On the streets, people are everywhere and phones are everywhere. Now, to answer the question, what exactly is a smartphone? The simplest definition of a smartphone is a phone that can evolve. Through the limitless access to the internet and countless applications that one can download, as time goes on, the phone literally evolves into a phone that is more suited to the user. Now, let's hear about some more specifics about the smartphones from a person who actually owns one. First, you can access the iTunes through internet and also App Store. You can download many games and many programs. This map is made by Tom, and this map is really helpful because you also have GPS on it, so you can track where I'm going. You can track, I can see the map and see exactly where I am. And now, some words from a professional. We also asked him about one of the most important things. As he stated, despite the heavy price of smartphones, their sales are increasing among businessmen because so much funding comes from advocating companies. Now that we know what a smartphone is, let's get a little bit more personal back at the studio. Here I am with my iPhone, about two months old, white in color, 16 gigabyte, 3G. Size, relatively big compared to a regular phone, hard to fit in your pockets. Look, looks exactly like an iPod Touch, just comes with a microphone and a speaker. One of the best things I like about having an iPhone is that it comes with an iPod. So if I click on iPod and play, it plays a song. And it comes with a speaker, which is very portable obviously. And another feature I love about having this iPhone is having the applications. Uh, one of my favorite applications that I always use is a Soul Bus. It's free 
and it consists of bus information of Seoul and Gyeonggi. So we can actually find out when our bus comes down the hill from our school. Still had trouble deciding? Then let's hear the opinions of some people who want or don't want a smartphone. What's the reason you would want an iPhone? Yeah, like, there's all many sorts of uh, apps, applications that I like to try out. I know that uh, any people who own, uh, anyone who owns an iPhone, are really happy. iPhone to other students? Yeah, I've been trying that ever since I bought my iPhone, but people wouldn't listen. it. It seems like the choice is much of a personal preference. As for me, I think I'm gonna change my phone soon. Do you feel more acquainted with what a smartphone can do? We hope this short clip revealed the truth and corrected any misconceptions of these rising phones. Thank you for watching. This was Ilja Cam, the truth behind smartphones.